All right, we are actually switching vehicles to drop these off um, because I have a dresser that I need to pick up after these get dropped off. So, putting these in the big truck. Well, I'm trying to get this hooked up. Um, clearly, I don't have the skills to do that. So, um, yeah, I don't really know. I hate those stupid hook thingies. So I'm going with bungee cords. Hey, exclamation point. We are on the way about 20 minutes from you. Um, 
I've been talking about the swivel rocking chairs, the mid-century modern ones, so we're gonna go check them out. It's done yesterday, so sorry I can tell you both. No, it's okay. I think it looks very a few marks, but Said 30 for both. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. Are you are you cool with the little marks and saying? I want you to Would you do 25? Uh, I do that for you since yeah. I'm the same player. Yeah, okay. yeah, I do that for you. Okay. Alright. We got them all loaded up. You guys will get to see some more um, when we get home. But we're gonna put the cushions up back. Um, we're gonna have to rearrange in here once we get to the next place, but this will do for now. Also, always negotiate because I could tell that he got them for the low, 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 and so just noticing that and then me negotiating with him, even five dollars, that makes a difference. So he wanted 30 for the pair. He didn't tell me up front that they were a little bit dirty. So I was like, yeah, let's try it. Please make 25. And he's like, sure, why not? So luckily, Eamon had $5 because I only had 30. So I got a 20, five ones, gave it to him. So $5 off. Always take the money where you can. Alright, so now that we've picked up those chairs, we're headed to our last stop before we go to Menards, our last pickup stop. Um, we're going to grab a dresser, which I haven't really said much about, other than that it was way too good to pass up, so I paid ahead of time, which I, again, never do. Um, you guys will see why. By one of Neiman's favorite coffee shops because I told him that we, that I would get him some coffee for helping me do it. All right, we got Neiman his coffee, um, and now we are just three minutes from our next pickup location. So uh, it's a dresser. I'll give you that much. Super, super stoked about it. However, I did think that it was a little bigger. The picture maybe deceived me a little bit. It's okay. Good photography. Um, yeah, good photography. Um, always check dimensions so that you know ahead of time what you're getting. That's one reason why I don't usually pay for things ahead of time, or I don't ever. This is literally the first time. Um, but I'm still really pleased with the way that it looks. It's in great shape. I didn't even check the drawers. I just went against all of my practices with this piece. So, um, but I'm excited, so it'll turn out great. We're at Menards again. So this used to be my favorite store when I was little. I think it became my favorite store again this summer during quarantine and all that stuff. Because I basically come here weekly, if not more than weekly. <laughs> so the reason we're here today is because 
one of the poles that I got on something for something was broken. I couldn't get the screw in, so I'm just here to get a replacement. Can't go to Menards without looking at the paint too. So usually I get this paint right here, chalk paint by Rust-Oleum. Um, I'm actually trying a new thing where I ordered some paint from the Chippy Barn um, online and that should hopefully be here this week. So look for that in some future videos. Most of the time I can't really leave Menards without getting my favorite paintbrush. Not really sure why, but I like the ones with the short handle. It's easy to hold on to, has an angle. So I'll probably pick one up today. Now we wait. Two hours later. Still here at Menards, um, looking at sanders. I just got a new one that's an orbital sander, which means it's just a circle. Uh, something similar to this, not this one, but similar. So one of the dressers I'm doing has some fine details that I need. So I'm gonna get this detail sander because it comes to a point and it's gonna allow me to get into those uh, corners. So. Gotta do it. Alright, finally made it out of there. Got a little more things than I was going to, but it's alright. Now we're headed home. Alright guys, we made it home finally after all those pickups. Um, so, I'm going to unload and probably rearrange the garage because we got some more furniture to fit in there. Let me try this. Uh, not so good at jumping, but I'll give it a go. Ugh, made it. Alright. Alright. Getting some lunch together here. We had our Thanksgiving on Sunday early. Um, so of course the best part about Thanksgiving is the leftovers. So we're taking a break, letting the garage warm up, and eating some lunch. Mm. We are going to get this guy out of here. Um, you guys didn't see me flip this because this was before YouTube, BY, um, but they're coming right now to pick it up in the truck, so we're going to get it loaded up for them. They already paid and everything, so all they're doing is picking it up. Alrighty guys, cool man, hey, well good seeing you Chris, you too. Thank you. Thanks guys, later man. Enjoy. enjoy yeah. Oh yeah, I'll enjoy taking it inside. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got that out of here. Sold that yesterday, they picked it up today. Now we have more space in the garage. Now it's time to get to work on all these things. I don't know where to start, there's so many fun things. All right, I am taking over the vlog because Neiman is working on something else for me. So basically today after we got home and unloaded everything and had lunch, we kind of forgot to update you. Um, it just got to be a pretty crazy day. Uh, the bulk of it was in the morning though. Um, but after that, all I basically did was delivered or the people came and picked up the dresser and then I was in the garage the rest of the day just painting the rest of this tall dresser. I'm about to stage it so I'm going to put a time lapse here next on that but basically just hung out here in the garage today got some furniture done so here is me staging the dresser and nightstand set that I'm going to post on marketplace here soon.
So I am going to go ahead and show you what that staging looks like so that you guys can kind of know and understand how I stage lighting. That's one of the most important things. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed following along today. It was a fun day packed in the morning and then just kind of relaxed after lunch. Relaxed, but worked as well in the garage. So continue to follow along on my journey of paying off my student loans and of flipping furniture. I really hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram also at Furniture Flipping Teacher, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Sorry guys, I am getting used to ending these vlogs, so see you on the flip side.